Let's enjoy this beautiful weather today. Let's find some fossils. <laughs> oh, hi there. Oh. Well, that's a great start to this video already. <laughs> hi, everybody. It's Sean P. Meddy, once again on the S'mores and Dinosaurs YouTube channel. And uh, it is a very sunny but cool fall morning here in southern Ohio. And uh, we are off to a great start already. I wasn't even anticipating this. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Finding Fossils with Sean. Um, it is mid-November, and uh, when I started my hike out this morning, it was below freezing. And that's telling me about this time of the year that this might end up being my last fossil hunt for the season. The seasons are changing, and this part of the country, it, gets cold fast after it starts raining and then everything starts freezing and it makes fossil hunting a little bit harder. So this very well could be the last one for the season, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go out not kicking it. Boy, are we off to a great start already. So let's go out. Let's enjoy this beautiful weather today. Let's find some fossils. So one of the questions you may ask uh, as you watch these Finding Fossils with Sean videos is how many fossils are you taking out of the creek every time you go hunting? Are you taking home every fossil that you find? And the uh, short, simple answer to that question is no. <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> No, if I took home every fossil that I found, I could easily uh, build a house out of all of that limestone. Hmm, a fossil house. Wouldn't that be interesting? No. <laughs> no, uh, on average, unless I've paid for a permit uh, where I can take as much as I want, uh, on average, uh, when I go hunting, especially for the creek beds that I'm normally hunting in, I'll take less than 1% of the fossils that I find. Um, yeah, sometimes it may be higher than that. It's because so often the fossils that I find, they're broken or they're a part of huge, just slabs of limestone. And when I was younger, 
that was my thing. I used to grab all these huge slabs of limestone. And you know what gets heavy to move around after a while? Huge slabs of limestone. <laughs> so no, uh, I don't do that anymore. I just take a few pieces here and there, especially unique pieces or pieces that, uh, uh, unique pieces or pieces that I think uh, you might enjoy looking at getting a closer look at on the channel. So. Yeah, do I find, do I keep every fossil I find? No, no, no. So a lot of the fossils that I found today are your typical Ordovician fossils, but I am thrilled to say I have found possibly the largest piece of horn coral that I've ever found in my entire life. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Look at that. Isn't that huge horn coral? I'm kidding. I can't even keep a straight face when I'm trying to do that. No, this is, if I turn it around, dun dun dun, dun dun dun, ah, ah. This is a replica of a Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth. Um, bring it in a little bit closer. Look at the size of that. Just huge. Uh, I did a theatrical production a few years ago and I knew I wanted a reproduction of a Tyrannosaurus tooth. This is a reproduction, by the way, just so you know. But this is a reproduction of a Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth um, that was found in the, it says Cretaceous era, which I'm kind of like, well, yeah, that's when they're all from. No, but this specific is cast off of a uh, T-Rex tooth that was found in the Hell Creek, found, uh, Hell Creek Formation in Montana. Boy, I'd like to go there one day. Uh, if you're a dinosaur aficionado like me, I'm sure that you'd like to go to Hell Creek as well. If you're just watching this casually, you're probably like, no. One, it's Montana, and two, it's got the word hell in it. <laughs> no, but the Hell Creek Foundation sounds amazing. If you're paleontologically inclined, of course. Um, a lot of Tyrannosaurids coming out of there. I love these little holes on the back here too. Ah, we'll probably do a little bit more Tyrannosaurus Rex. But now look at that, next to my head. Look at that, maybe it's better that way. That's, it's almost the size of my head. I would, I would be nothing more than a watermelon to a T-Rex. Well, my head would be a watermelon and the rest of me would be, ooh, so gooey, good choice steak. <laughs> and sure, you may be wondering why I brought a Tyrannosaurus Rex tooth out. Well, I wanted to make sure that there was something special uh, for this finding fossils with Sean. And also, I mean, of course it's not clickbait. What? Clickbait? What are you talking about? Nah. Can you imagine what it'd be like to have a Tyrannosaurus Rex out here? Out in this creek bed? That would be... That would be something. Did you hear something?
it has turned out to be an absolute beautiful autumn day. There is absolutely, the, the, the cliche, there's not a cloud in the sky. There is not a cloud in the sky. It's just stunningly beautiful between that and hiking with the leaves underfoot, cool, crisp air in your lungs. Ah, oh, these are the days that make you glad to be alive. So, this may be the last fossil hunt of the season for me. It might not be. But this isn't the end of finding fossils with Sean. No, 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 no. Boy, do we have adventures saved up for the, for the winter months as well. So, uh, so bundle up. It's going to get cold. And I'll see you really soon. Bye, everybody.